jambe dile ye maro jambe dile sani mane jambe dile kuda belom bi fala ye kuda belom bi fala suma kuda belom bi stories in Africa are connected to the daily lives of the people. Most of the stories are about animals, but still connected to the daily lives of the people. All the stories have a meaning. This one was a crocodile that was living in a river. One day this crocodile went out looking for food. He lost control and end up in a small lake where there is not enough water. He cannot even go back to the river. Africa, children of the family, goes, everybody help your mother or father. Sometimes they go in the forest to search for firewood and bring firewood to the compound. This little boy went to the forest to find firewood. After putting all his firewood together, he went to the lake to drink and he found this crocodile. He was frightened. He wanted to run away. Crocodile said, don't run, don't run. I know you can help me. I live in the river. I was searching for food. I lost my way. I end up in this small lake. If you don't help me, Back to the river, I will die. The boy said, but I am afraid of you. You're going to kill me. Prokhita said, no, I will never kill you. Help me. But the boy said, how can I help you? The crocodile said, go and bring three long sticks and a rope. boy went and bring three long sticks and a rope, the crocodile crawled. The boy was pulling him, crawled until he lay down on these rope, uh, sticks. The boy tied him up and lifted the sticks 
and put his head under it and leave the crocodile on his head and head it to the river. Push me a little bit in the water. The boy pushed him a little bit until the water come to the boy's knees. Push me more, he said. If you leave me here, I cannot go by myself. The boy pushed the, the crocodile until the water came to the boy's neck. Mwah! Crocodile catch him. He said, now, <laughs> I have my food now. Songo ga ga no bane, luolu songo ga ga no bane. Ye maran la maran le dembadu abu. Kaburu kula ni bibi sa wali jamano banda. I'm going to eat you. I'm too hungry. Before I run after the fish and get full, I'll die. I must just eat you up. The little boy said, don't kill me. You have to say thank you to me. Very few. came to the river to drink. When the horse started to drink, Crocodile said, Horse, ha, listen here. This boy, he found me in the lake in the forest and I asked him to bring me here to help me because I lost my way and I end up in a lake in the forest. He helped me to bring me here. And now I am very hungry. I want to eat him. Horse said, ha, ha. Eat him! Human beings never give thanks. When I was a young horse, they take care of me, clean me every morning. They go to the well and bring water, wash me, or bring me to the lake and wash me up, and they clean where my, where my house. 
They don't even allow the children to touch me. But now when I get old, if I want water to drink, I have to come myself to the river. Eat him. Oh! Crocodile said to the boy, did you hear that? The boy said yes. He want to eat him again, the donkey came. He start to drink, crocodile said, donkey, listen here. I want you to judge between me and this little boy. He found me in the lake in the forest. I lost my way to the lake and I asked him to help me to bring me here. But now I want to eat him because I'm very hungry. Well, the donkey said, yeah, yeah, eat him. They never give thanks. When I was a young donkey, only one man come, comes on my back. But now they put a cart over me and they put firewood in the cart. Oh, everybody will sit inside the cart and it's too heavy for me. Crocodile said to the little boy, one more animal comes, I said I eat you, I will eat him. Then appears the rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit came. When he came towards the river, he knows that exactly this little boy is in trouble. He started to think of his plans to rescue the boy. <laughs> we all know rabbits are very wise animals. Not only the big ones, but the little very wise ones also can win. <laughs> Rabbit came, he started drinking. Crocodile is there, rabbit? Rabbit? Hello? Hello, rabbit? Hello? He did not answer, pretending he cannot hear. His ears are not good. He drink and he, he start to leave going. Rabbit! He start. Who is that? It's me, crocodile. You are not deaf. You can hear me. This boy helped me from the forest. I lost my way to the lake in the forest and he helped me to bring me here. Now I'm very hungry. I want to eat him. Rabbit said, can you come nearer? I am not hearing you properly. My ears are not very good. <laughs> the little boy and the crocodile came nearer from the deep water. Now the water is at the little boy's risk now. Not the neck. He said, Rabbit, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, little. This little boy, you found me at the lake uh, in the forest, and I asked. Rabbit said, Oh no. Now I can hear you. If you say that the little boy has come to the river to play, you get him. That I can agree. But how? Can this little boy bring you all the way from the lake in the forest here? I don't know how he did that. 
Crocodile said, yes, we, I, I can show you. We can show you how he did it. And the crocodile and the little boy make their tricks again. They bring the long sticks. Crocodile crawl and crawl until he went on these big sticks. The boy took the rope and started tightening him up. Rabbit said, you are such a wise boy. Going around the boy and saying, tight him properly, tight him properly. <laughs> the boy tied the crocodile until the crocodile cannot even move now. He said, uh -huh. what have you done next? He said, I lifted him and I put him on my head. They lift, the rabbit and the little boy lift the crocodile and they put his head under the sticks and lift him up. Rabbit said, oh, such a wise little boy. <laughs> little boy, I want to ask you a question. Does your father eat crocodile meat? Little boy said, yes. Then take the crocodile home. <laughs> little boy left with the crocodile to his home. Crocodile was on his head. Rabbit following them. When they went a long way, Rabbit said, hey, no. bye bye little boy, I'm going. But the rabbit followed the boy. I said, let me go and listen. I don't know what he will tell his people. came out, Whoa, what a brave, brave boy, he catch a crocodile. Some came with guns, some came with cutlass, some came with their big knife. Whoa, today we have a big meal, how did you catch this? Everybody. <laughs> While the people were killing the crocodile, the boy called his dogs. He said, wait, wait, I'm not ready yet, the rabbit also is there. When the rabbit had that, Rabbit run away. He said, little boy, what the horse and the donkey has said is true. People are less giving thanks.